this just uh, 20 years old and being kept alive by a machine. Dylan Peterson's heart failed and he needed a desperate transplant. While waiting for a donor, an artificial heart was pumping blood to vital organs in Dylan's body. Mary Nichols with more in tonight's Check Your Health Report. I was actually born with uh, heart problems. Dylan Peterson's <laughs> story starts just before he was born. Green shell on it. I uh, got a virus attacked me in the womb and I spent six weeks in primary children's. Medications would keep his weak heart beating for most of his life, uh, but when he was 19 years old, Dylan went into cardiac arrest. Uh, had my pacemaker was a defibrillator also, so it kept cardioverting me back. And so I uh, was able to make it to the hospital, and I was there for 10 days on a bunch of things, and they realized they wouldn't be able to sustain me on them. Dylan needed a heart transplant. In order to keep him alive until heart was available, Dylan received an artificial heart. People can actually live on that for years. Dr. Deborah Budge mm -hmm. was one of the physicians who oversaw Dylan's care at Intermountain Medical Center. She says the artificial heart will continue to pump blood to vital organs until a patient gets a new heart. Nowadays, more and more people are needing some kind of mechanical or machine support for just because it takes so long to find a, a suitable donor. Dylan spent months in the hospital waiting for a donor, the then there. one day his doctors got the call that a heart was available. Every day you were hoping, <laughs> and finally yeah, when it happened, I, it was great, and it was awesome. It, was, it almost felt like it wasn't going to come, it took so long, but it did, and so it worked out. Three years have passed yeah. since his heart transplant. Dylan yeah. has to take medication every day to keep his body from rejecting the new heart. A small price, he says, for a second Stay chance active. at life. I feel doing? great. I've, I've just, everything's better. I mean, I, I, everything I can do, anything now, way better than I could with my old heart. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health. Well, this year marks the 20th anniversary of the Artificial Heart Program. The program started at LDS Hospital in 1993, and then it moved to Intermountain Medical Center in 2007. For more information, go to our website at KUTV.com and then click on the Check Your Health link.